Originally bred to herd cattle, sheep, and horses, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi is an active and intelligent dog breed. Easy to train and eager to learn, Pembrokes are great with children and other pets, and you can find them in four different coat colors and markings. Even though these are purebred dogs, you may still find them in care of shelters or rescue groups, so remember to adopt. Welsh Corgis are typically between 10 and 12 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh no more than 30 pounds. Although Pembrokes are still used as working dogs, they're most often seen as family pets these days. They're known for being happy, loving and intelligent, but with a stubborn or independent streak at times. They're easy to train, but don't expect your Pembroke to be subservient. They like to think for themselves. Although they want to please their owners, food is a great motivator for them when training. Proceed with caution though. Pembrokes love to eat and can become obese if their food intake is unmoderated. They also make excellent watchdogs. They can be suspicious of strangers and will be quick to bark if they feel that something or someone is threatening their home and family. Like every other dog, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi needs early socialization, exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they're young. Socialization helps ensure that your Pembroke puppy grows up to be a well-rounded dog. Pembrokes are generally healthy, but like all breeds are prone to certain health conditions. While not all Pembrokes will get any or all of these diseases, it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. If you're buying a puppy, find a good breeder who will show you health clearances for both your puppy's parents. Health clearances prove that the dog's been tested for and cleared of a particular condition. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. Always meet at least one of the parents, usually the mother is the one who's available, to ensure that they have nice temperaments that you're comfortable with. Meeting siblings or other relatives of the parent is also helpful for evaluating what a puppy will be like when he grows up. They should be friendly, calm, quiet, and easy to live with. Athletic and surprisingly fast, Pembrokes were bred to be herding dogs and require plenty of exercise each day. With that said, they make fine apartment dogs as long as they get the physical stimulation they desperately need. With their short legs and long backs, they should not be expected to hop up on or down from the couch or any other modest height, as fractures are very common. Pems can adapt quite easily to living in the country or in the city. Although their coats are weather resistant and they do well in most climates, they're very people oriented and need to be a part of the family at all times, not left alone in the backyard. How much your doll doggy depends on its size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. Dogs are individuals, and just like people, they don't all need the same amount of food. It almost goes without saying that a highly active dog will need more than a couch potato dog. The quality of the dog food you buy also makes a huge difference. The better the dog food, the further it will go towards nourishing your dog, and the less of it you'll need to shake into your dog's bowl. Pembrokes like to eat and will overindulge if given the chance. Keep your Pem in good shape by measuring his food and feeding him twice a day, rather than leaving the food out all the time. They're also double coated, with a thick undercoat and a longer top coat. They shed continuously with heavier shedding at least twice a year. You'll find them in red, sable, black, tricolored or fawn, usually with white markings. The length of the coat varies on the body. Some Pems have fluffy coats, long with excessive feathering on the ears, chest, legs and feet. Many Pembrokes have what is called a fairy saddle over their back. This marking, which is caused by a change in thickness and direction of a strip of hair, gets its name from a legend. According to one, fairies rode on Pembrokes in their home country of Wales. Welsh Corgis are very easy to groom, but shedding can be a problem if you don't keep up with the brushing, especially during the heavier seasonal shedding. When they are shedding the most, daily brushing is recommended. You only need to bathe them as needed, but many people find that regular bathing also helps control heavy shedding. Pembrokes have a remarkable affinity for children, but thanks to their herding instincts, they sometimes nip at children's feet or ankles. They're very eager learners though, and can be trained out of this behavior at a young age. As with every breed, you should always teach children how to approach and touch dogs, and always supervise any interaction between dogs and young children to prevent any biting or ear or tail pulling on part of either party. Teach your child never to approach any dog while he's eating or sleeping or to try to take the dog's food away. No dog, no matter how friendly, should ever be left unsupervised with a child. They usually are good with other pets in a household so long as they've been socialized with them. Alright guys, what do you think about the Pembroke Welsh Corgi? Tell me down in the comments.